Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video, I want to go over how you will enter matrices for section 2.4 on solving systems of linear equations with matrices, and also in chapter 3, will you encounter more matrices. So all a matrix is, is a table of numbers, and for this particular problem, that table of numbers comes from the coefficients on the variables, and then the constant on the other side. So I need to create a matrix that has three rows and four columns. Each row corresponds to a, an equation, and the columns correspond to the three variables and the constant. So to go ahead and type that in, what you're going to first do is on your keyboard locate the square bracket. When you do that, Derivita goes ahead and does an accompanying one. And so that says, okay, I want to type in a matrix. Now, each one of your rows has to be inside another set of squared brackets. So I'm going to hit the left bracket again. And then I'm going to go ahead and type in the coefficients and the constant for that first equation separated by a comma. So minus 4, comma, 4, comma, 2, comma, negative 12. That puts in the first row. Now, to put in the second row, I need to move to the right using my arrow key, type a comma, and then put in another bracket. So the first row is in a set of brackets, and then the second row needs to be in a set of brackets. So 5, comma, 5, comma, 1, comma, 8. And if I scroll down here a little bit, you can see it's put in the second row there. To put in the third row, I'm going to use my arrow key to move over, type a comma, and another set of square brackets. And then put the coefficients in for that particular equation. So negative 8, comma 3, comma 3, comma negative 22. Scroll down, and there you can see we have a 3 by 4 matrix where each one of the equations matches up with a row in the matrix. The most common mistake I see is people forget to put the comma in between the rows here. So if you can set that up there, let me see if I can zoom in on it a little bit, like that, you should be in pretty good shape. So that's how you would enter it to get that matrix.